In this video, I will be building five scenes from Star Wars that relate to the infamous Order 66. And this here is just the first one. This is the smallest of the five. And every time we go on to the next model, they will be almost doubling in size. So you can see why I chose to stop at fives. But if you do go on to enjoy this video, do be sure to smash a like on this video. It really does help out the channel and leave a comment with your favorite of the five. Getting straight into this first model, you can see Commander Bly is in a very flowery scene. And this is for Lucio where he executes Order 66 on Ayla Secura at the end of Revenge of the Sith. And to create this backdrop on only a six by six plate, which I think if I say so myself, I've done an amazing job packing a lot of detail in. I've actually hooked up these giant leaf pieces in this. It's an orangey yellow. It's not bright yellow. It's a somewhat dark yellow and this nice lilac color on the side, which really do build the scene around without having to expand off the six by six base plate. And we'll take a look again at Commander Bly in a second. But if you take a look at the base of this, we've got some wonky one by one tiles. These have been placed at slight angles on purpose because the ground isn't going to be perfect and we've also got some of these one by one flower elements and a really cool blue flower at the back because I don't have any of the light blue flower elements and though I think they would work perfectly perhaps this is a little budding one that hasn't yet fully grown. Commander Bly then stands on one of these plants and is sort of taken a step forward, ready to assassinate his Jedi General. As you can see, the minifigure itself is really cool. You know by now, this minifigure I got off Filoni clones who sell custom clone troopers as well as other minifigs. And the 360 printing is definitely a nice touch to all the detail on this build. It also came with this cloth karma and not only the pauldron around its neck, which does have some nice printing on the side there, but also these macro binoculars, which we've only just got from Lego, but is a really, really nice clone. I also got this weapon in a special weapons bag as well. So check out the full video if you want to know more and be sure to join me this Saturday and Sunday in his stream. Check out the description if you want to find out more. Next up at just over double the size, we started off with a six by six, we are now at an eight by 12. So we are increasing a bit quick, but don't worry that slows down towards the end. There's only so big I can make so many mocks. We do have the Nova Corps or the Galactic Marines fighting on Kato Nemoidia with Ki Adi Mundi. And there's a few giant rocks and I guess bits of the bridge that they're fighting on that have been built up and that's what these slopes represent on the side. It's also a bit snowy so you can see the odd white plate on the ground and I've created these nice barricades which are only actually held on by the two studs but any keen eye viewers will have noticed there is a wire coming out to the left side of this model and that is because I have included that LED lightsaber that you're seeing so much recently I really do like the LED blade and I'm getting better at taking photos of this in the dark so I will flash some on screen now and all the different shots that I take after recording this video it honestly improves the mock so so much there's a bit less detail on this but with that LED lightsaber and all the little details from the barricades to the snow and once again that custom Nova Corps trooper with the custom blaster which I'm definitely getting more into the custom weapons on the clones, but once again, this minifigure is so, so very detailed. And it's a shame we haven't seen an official one from LEGO. I'd love to get a battle pack, especially sometime next year of all the other legions we see in Revenge of the Sith. But we've still got three more mocks to go. So let's waste no more time on this one and start looking at the third mock. Though this video is centered around Order 66, this one takes place a little later and it's actually a scene from the Bad Batch, which you can open this model and that is honestly the best feature without it. I'm not sure I'd really be able to show this off in all its glory. So we've got Rex with Hunter Wrecker and we've also got, this is a Corellian Hound minifigure, but I think it represents the Batchar who is the lurker who joins the crew in their final series. And then on the right here, we've got this wolf custom minifigure 
you know, already 360 printing. We also have a Commando in their Catal style armor. So they've got a similar piece to Wrecker, which I would like to get for the whole batch at some point because I think it really differentiates their armor from the regular Phase 2 style. And then we also have a regular Phase 2 Trooper. This one is, of course, Lego's own, like these four minifigures on the left, but the Commando and Wolfie are customs. I've built them a nice rocky terrain, which has just used a bunch of 1x1 slopes and 1x2 rounded slopes. And there's probably even a few 2x2 two two and 1x3 rounded slopes that you can see across this plate. But it is almost twice as big as the last one, 12 by 12 and... This is where things get a lot bigger. Perhaps the easiest model that you could put together yourself is this custom 501st Jedi Temple March diorama. You can see we have five rows of four that are 25 501st clone troopers. And perhaps lifting it up, you can see just that army trailing behind Anakin up the stairs of the Jedi Temple. And once again, that lightsaber does light up, which I think is a really, really nice addition and definitely adds to this scene. This would look amazing on display. So check out all these cool shots I have taken of this. There are a few custom 501st troopers in this. The most of them have been taken straight from the 501st battle pack. Though there are a few from the new 501st bark speeder set. And whilst I haven't picked up that set, it's easy to put a 501st helmet from the Specialist Battle Pack on a regular torso and legs. And I think there's even a heavy 501st Trooper helmet just towards the back. This goes to show that not all mocks need to be as detailed and crazy as, say, my Felucia mock. If I was building that on a 48 by 48 base plate, I think that would run through my parts like no other build. I did a similar thing for Ahsoka aboard the Veneta and you all really seem to like it. So hopefully this inspires you to build a Jedi Temple March of your own. And now let's move on to the final build. Last and definitely not least, we have Kenobi on Utapau. This is honestly moments before disaster because what you may not spot from me holding it in my hand is just behind Cody, there is a regular 212th trooper holding a comlink because Commander Cody has a very special call in from the Emperor himself just before Order 66 is executed. I bet Commander Cody really wishes he didn't give Kenobi back his saber so soon. It would have made it so much easier. But I think the start of this model is actually the Varactyl that Kenobi is riding at the front. So if we take a look at this build, it's inspired by a lot of the micro fighters we've got. For instance, I have the micro fighter Bantha, which is a really cool like a model. Bantha. And though this creature in universe is actually 15 meters, that puts it just bigger than a 48 by 48 base plate. In case you were wondering how long this is, check out my bongo mock because it's almost the same length as the Gungan submarine, which is absolutely crazy for this. This puts it at probably a little over 15 studs, if that. But I really like the fact I was able to replicate such a large animal in a small space. So I will be uploading instructions for free to the members Discord as a little bonus because I feel like I've only been uploading instructions every couple of days. So if you would like to build this yourself and find out all the complex techniques I used inside this build, Definitely consider becoming a member today and I'll try to make this available for both member tiers. Taking a look at the whole mock build, I have busied this build to make it seem a lot more detailed than perhaps it is. The only thing sticking out of the base that isn't this Varactyl or a regular minifigure is this little workbench here, which I feel the clone troopers would have just had a meeting on and planned their next steps after Grievous defeat. We do have Commander Cody who has a hairpiece on top of the minifigure that comes in the ATTE, which we will be taking a look at the set this weekend. And of course, the clone troopers behind him are just the regular 212s that come in that same set. We do have one custom minifigure over here, which is the 212 Airborne 360 printing. You know the drill by now and is a fine addition to your 212 army. I really like the fact I finally have 
a 212 clone airborne and i think the printing on this one's just better than the official lego version but now let's take a look at all five of them and i'd love for you to let me know your favorite down in the comments do you prefer commander blight on felucia perhaps you'd prefer the bad batch scene with the very touching reunion we've then got order 66 with kiani mundi who let's be honest did kind of deserve it after what he did to ahsoka in the clone wars we've got the jedi temple march with anakin both of these with their really cool led lightsabers and then we finally have one of the most touching order 66 scenes after all Cody and Kenobi went through in the Clone Wars together, Cody just snaps, executes Order 66, and at least tries his best to take out Kenobi and ends up wiping out this Vractal in the process. Let me know what your favorite is down in the comments below, and thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. Check out all the videos on screen now, and may the bricks be with you always.